Hey everyone and welcome to SNRC Sunday Night Race Club. Uh, we're here tonight uh, for the Australian Grand Prix. It's going to be round 4 of 15 uh, for this season currently which we're on and running. So we got 16 drivers on track at the moment. And uh, let's see what our grid lineup actually looks like before we start getting some cars out on track. And I'm going to just get a few stats up on screen as well uh, in the meanwhile that we're going through all of this. So yeah, let's see what the grid looks like. So we got Smitty, I got Grammy Brembo, we got uh, Liam, we got Bird, I got Lord, I got Kiziato, Requaz there, Snowball, uh, Jagerbomb, we got Griffin Cow, we got Frazier, we got Sullivan, AMG Reckless, Dizzle, and Leo there. So 16 great drivers in the session. We got cars heading out on track right now. About to get started with this uh, short qualifying session. 18 minutes already counting down. So we're gonna be a great race here today. Uh, well, it's gonna be at um, I think it's gonna be quite interesting to see how the race start is gonna go uh, given we're on wrong four right now It's gonna be at Australia. So uh, usually we do have Australia as a first race on official F1 calendar But uh, we're mixing it up a bit. So uh, yeah, we're gonna see how this session does progress through and um, Yeah, I think I made an error and just leaving that uh, party chat overlay on screen So I think you guys might be seeing that throughout the entire session I did kind of add that there just so that we know when we have uh, podium finishers joining on for the race, uh, for the interviews at the end of the uh, session for post race interviews. So um, I think that's going to be on for most of the session. I'll probably try to get it off in just a bit, but um, I'll probably just leave that on for now at least. Um, after qualifying, I'll have a look at probably getting that off. So uh, either way, guys, so let's uh, get on to the session. So we got uh, quite a few cars out on track already, just about three drivers left in the pits. And uh, we're definitely going to start seeing some uh, lap times come in here pretty, pretty shortly as uh, everyone's currently on their out laps. So uh, quite a busy track here at Melbourne uh, this afternoon or well, this evening for most of you, I would say. It's still afternoon for me uh, where I am right now. So um, I'm just used to going on that. So uh, yeah, so let's see who's going to be first to make a time here. I think his yard has already gotten started on his uh, hot lap here right now. Definitely so. Uh, seems to be flying around the track and he is one of the uh, fast drivers in the league so let's see uh, where he does place when this uh, lap is over here and how well um, he is going to be uh, on the grid in terms of uh, his qualifying time So definitely seems to be going pretty fast. I'm just waiting to see uh, what sort of time, lap time he's going to be bringing in. And I got quite a few more drivers coming uh, behind him, uh, all about to make their first uh, lap time for this short qualifying session. So definitely going to be interesting to see how close and competitive these lap times are about to be, uh, which we're going to be seeing here in just a bit now. Okay guys, so let's see what we got so far. So, so far Kiziato has a 119.9, the fastest lap in the session so far. And we only have just about three times in. Most relevant with a 121.7 and Dizzle with a 121.9. So just about two tenths off of Sullivan's time. So uh, really not too bad of a time. And we got Smitty coming across the line here right now. Let's see where he goes on, uh, on the board. And goes P2 so far, 121.2, not too bad. I got Grimmy coming around as well, still in about sector three and going down. Lord there with a 122.9, not uh, too bad. Leo there 121.5, pretty good time so far. Jacob with a 121.1 now in second. And uh, yeah, so we've got quite a few lap times starting to come in. And uh, we got Briefing Car 121.6. Who else is currently requires there? 123.3. He's gonna have to try and improve upon that time as uh, Grimmy is going back into the pits. I got Snowball and Frazier still running. Let's see where Snowball goes. And um, I think Frazier went up somewhere to second with a 121.081. Snowball goes right now, 121.7. Not too bad of a time, actually. So, uh, yeah, at least 12 drivers so far have uh, their lap times on the board for us. So, yeah, we're starting. Oh, I'm briefing cows out to the session there. 
So we start from a 119 going all the way to a 123. At least that's our first round of uh, laps that we have happened here. And yeah, we still got just under 30 minutes left in the qualifying session. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, how well more these guys are going to be uh, performing to get a better and faster lap time in. Okay, so we're just changing a bit of a setting on that. Actually, it's still there, but um, probably just going to ignore that at least for now. Actually, let's just get rid of that. Just give me one more second here, guys. Well, so I just get on this and... Uh And there we go. Sure, everything should be good and uh, good to go with there now. All right, so let's see what else we got. We got Grimmy on another outlap trying to get a better, trying to actually get a time in here right now. I got Bird on an outlap there as well. And so is Liam and Brembo. The, the Liam and Brembo still in the pits. They still got to get out here and get some laps in as we're currently following with Grimmy on his outlap. So let's see what our grid looks like up on top. We still got uh, Kiziato there, fastest lap in the session, 119.9. Smitty holds on the second right now with a 120.5. Frazier in third, 121. And Jacob on the 121.129. Uh, 110 slower than what Frazier did. Leo there in P5, 121.5. Briefing Cow in sixth right now with a 121.6. And he's out of the session, so that's going to be his time. Uh, and might get pushed down quite a bit more as we get further into the session here right now. Alright guys, just, just confirming, uh, I'm making sure everything is good. Audio on my end, and so it's settings and whatnot, so I just want to make sure everything is good. Alright, think we are good to go so far. So let's see what Bird is up to right now. He just got started on his fast lap, and I'm really interested to see uh, how well he's going to place on the grid uh, for the start of this race. Uh, Requaz, Lord Requaz is out of the session, so 123.3 is going to be his best time here, and I don't think that's going to hold up too well to go to the end of the qualifying session here. Uh, remember it's just 18 minutes and we just got about just about 10 minutes left in this session so far so eight minutes already up and we are really not a lot of time in a short qualifying session to uh you know really get a good lap in and uh, i think our lap times are gonna start to get a bit faster as the track is starting to rubber in just a little bit more as we go through the session here right now it should be pretty good hopefully by the time we get to the start now remember it this is australia guys not too much of a long run to get down into turn one so it's gonna be uh quite a bit uh, bunched up and maybe a little bit of a squeeze for some cars to really get through so drivers are gonna have to be extra extra careful getting down into turn ones and two as well because you can lose uh, rear end grip getting off turn one trying to get to turn two with some minor contact with cars around you and sometimes just not even your fault but it does tend to happen drivers are gonna have to be very very careful about that and we're gonna see how well they actually handle uh, getting through and um, how well drivers are gonna get through turn one that is and uh, hopefully no safety car VSC on that uh, occasion there but we're we can that and just to see what happens we know there might be some minor contacts uh between cars getting down to, to the run for turn one as you can see how this is that's basically what the run of turn one looks like getting through as grimmy is showing us there that's our him up into seventh right now 121.7 not too bad of a time All right, so let's see where we are right now. We got Brembo and Liam yet to make times here. So, uh, yeah, Requaz has gotten pushed down all the way down to 14th right now. And will get pushed down to 16th when Brembo and Liam make a better time than 123, which should not be too hard for them. Uh, considering uh, 123 is not Requaz's best time right now. Unfortunately, he was not able to make a better time than that. He will start to start at the back of the grid and uh, hopefully make up a few positions in this race. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully uh, make a few positions up on the start here. I think Yerba might be on a fast lap finishing here. So let's have a look at him locking up, getting into the final two turns and getting around to the pit straight here right now. Let's see where he is going to go on the board. He's currently with a 121.129. Let's see if he can go faster than that. And faster at 120.488 into P2. He puts himself there. And Kiziato, I think, is on another, another fast lap here at the moment. We're following him at the moment. 
Let's see where he is going to finish if he improves upon a 119.9. So Jägerbaum did a pretty impressive lap there, putting himself up the P2 for the start. Smitty currently uh, uh, one tenth slower than that. And uh, Koichar is going to be trying to get a faster time, which I think he is right now. So let's follow with uh, Smitty as he gets around. And hopefully he can make a better time than a 120.5. Maybe try to get maybe a 120.2 or even get into those 119s with Kiziado there. And really challenge him for the uh, race here when we do get to that start. It's going to be quite interesting to see how the race start goes. And if Kiziado is going to be starting on full position, will he get a better uh, start than whoever starting in second alongside him or not? I'm not sure as yet. But we'll see how that run goes into turn one. He's going to have a, a pretty uh, good advantage if he gets a really good start. Uh, on the race there but uh we can never we can always just hope and see what happens i'm not even sure if he's gonna be starting on polis yet we never know someone might actually take away that pole position start so we're gonna see how that plays out for him we got uh smitty right now is doing proper sector twos and i'm um, not sure how his sector one went but yeah proper sector two doing pretty well and let's see how he finishes this lap because it seems to be for a pretty fast one and uh maybe not in going to p1 maybe he might just get a p2 but let's see how that actually works for him uh I think he's really looking forward to actually starting on the front row so uh maybe either way we'll probably be happy as uh, so we got just under seven minutes left in the qualifying session right now we got uh, smitty back onto the pit straight and about to go across the line and let's see where he goes and goes up into p2 120.2 now it goes about three tenths faster so pretty impressive uh lap from smitty there that's up to p2 for jagerbaum is now down into p3 Burnbow down to p4 and frazier currently in fifth amg reckless running in sixth right now for uh 121.1 it looks like he might be starting in six but uh once again guys we still got a lot of time left in this qualifying session bring push down to the ninth and not able to make uh and rest of the grid down in the pits right now let's see where amg reckless is is he on a lap he definitely is on a lap running right now in sector three and uh let's see how this lap goes for him it did look like he slowed down for just a bit there for a second i'm not sure let's see if he's gonna finish this lap uh or not or probably go into the pits here i'm not sure he's probably heading into the pits we're not we're not 100 sure on that but we do not get to follow him for a lap as yet board on an out lap liam on an out lap right now and he's getting back into the pits so let's go down to the bottom of the grid where we got bird on an out lap here right now and um let's see where liam is maybe liam is liam is further along to finish his uh, out lap and get on that hot lap so we're gonna follow him for just a bit uh most of our grid is back into the pits right now so it's quite a, a clear track right now there for uh liam and bird who is currently running i see wilco has joined the session not sure if he's racing here today he should be able to join and uh, make it 17 if he does try to get on here right now. Just about five minutes left in the session. Alright, so we got uh, Liam just about to get started on his uh, fast lap here right now. And let's see where he's going to go. We got Bird coming behind him for his lap as well. Hasn't gotten started with that as yet. But uh, hopefully by the time we have Liam halfway through, we should have Bird getting started with his uh, hot lap. We got a few more cars getting back on out laps here at the moment. We got Jägerbaum, we got Lord, and we got Mo Sullivan there. Uh, definitely going to try and get a better lap in. We're just under five minutes left in the session. And uh, yeah, getting very, very close to that race start. Uh, so they really want to get a uh, move on and get as the best uh, possible position they can here so we still got Kiziad holding on to 119.9 in the pits right now Smitty holding on to second with a 120.2 and Jaeger I'm currently trying to improve on his 120.4 he's about to get started on his uh, hot lap pretty soon Brembo still holding on to his P4 120 uh, 1.016 and uh, Frazier 121.081 that's at least about of a second between the two of them so pretty pretty interesting uh, lap times with them uh we're still following on with liam right now to see where he's gonna finish but he just invalidated that lap so uh that's gonna be it for him we got wilco joining the session welcome there wilco and uh let's see he has enough time to get out on track and get a uh, qualifying time in uh before the start of this race so let's see how that works for him i'm gonna follow on with bird here right now and see he isn't in lap as yet still running on a pretty good lap not sure if liam is gonna take a lap to try to get into we'll have a look at that in just a bit and that is a purple sector 2 from bird there so on for a pretty pretty good lap here right now and uh definitely gonna try and finish on a good note so let's see how that works out for him still keeping an eye out front to see what's happening jagerbaum still on his out lap trying to have a look if anyone else is getting out on track we got him uh jagerbaum starting his fast lap right now and uh, i think lord might be on, on a fast lap there as well and so is sullivan they all were out on out laps so uh let's see we're following the board again he's back on the pit straight and about to get across the line let's see where he goes currently 122.113 and let's see that goes p4 now 120.961 very very impressive time from board 
puts himself up into a provisional post fourth position start for this race not sure if that's going to hold as yet we have uh, more drivers still out on track we got wilco on a hot lap there now i think let's follow with jaeger bomb at the moment i think uh wilco might be a little bit behind that so we're going to follow with jaeger bomb and see how he finishes where we can put this ferrari on the grid for if he can get back up in uh, up the second or maybe take away pole position start from Kiziato. i'm not sure how that's going to work for him but he's really going to try for it uh definitely doing pretty well a uh, purple sector too oh and not doing so well anymore that's into the wall he goes and I'm not sure, no, that's him out of the session. Definitely not going to be improving from a 120.488. So still a pretty good time for Jager Bomb there. Not too bad at all. Uh, maybe might get pushed down a or two. And Wilco, they're invalidating his lap that he's currently on. He's going to have to try on another lap going on those same tires because he does not have enough time to get in and get her back again. Liam on another out lap here right now trying to get uh, a hard lap started. And I think he has more than enough time to actually get that done. So he's going to try for that. Dizzle there in 14 and running let's see if he's on a fast lap here or not i'm really not sure i think he's trying for another lap here at the moment and let's see how that's going to work we got uh yellow flags all around the track for some reason for a second there and everything seems to be good now as a following on with this let's see how he works out on this lap currently in 14 let's see oh and that's him losing it oh actually catching it back pretty well so that was actually a save from this there uh not taking any Unfortunately, I don't think he's going to be able to uh, get a better lap in on that try another lap. He has to because 20 seconds left in the session here right now to actually get that done. So a few more drivers on outlaps right now. All of them going to try and get a better time in. We got Leo right now. Uh, I think he just went across the line. I'm not sure. He just started his hot lap here. Seems to be going pretty fast. Maybe he just started a hot lap. Let's have a look at him as he continues to go. We got Kiziado and Smitty both out on track for uh, outlaps right now. They're going to try and get a better time in. Jagerbaum still holding on to his P3 with this time that he had. And let's see if anyone else is going to make a better time than that. So Wilco out of the session and not going to be able to make a time. In uh, 17 for now, I guess. And uh, let's see how that works out for him. So 17 drivers, not too bad for a race start. We got just under a minute left in here right now before we go into overtime. And everyone's gotten started on their hot lap. Uh, it's going to be a change to the grid getting down to the end of the session here. Let's, uh, oh, and that is Leo taking out of the qualifying session. Better way to do that, but he shouldn't have done that. And yeah, let's get on to Skisiado. Invalidated his lap, so that's it for him. Not going to be able to make a better turn at 119.9, but uh, I don't think he's too worried about it. So got Smitty right now running in, getting into sector two, and. Um, yeah, let's see if he is able to improve upon his 120.2. Might be able to improve on that 120.2. Question is, will he be able to uh, get into the 119s and get past Kiziato's time of a 119.9? Uh, if not, he's going to have to just really, really hope he starts there in P2 and hope he gets a better run on to turn 1 than Kiziato. Maybe that might be the best opportunity. Actually, you might have to get it done on the pit stop. We'll see how that strategy is going to work out. I think most of our cars your qualifying session already qualifying is over just in the overtime just up right now and there go uh improve time at 120.008 uh just improve just a little bit but still not enough to actually put him on a full position start here so casey is still holding on to p1 for a full position start and let's see who else is currently running i don't see anyone else uh currently running i think amg reckless might be now he's invalidated his lap so nothing not really on a fast lap and going and I think that's going to be it for qualifying there, guys. We're just going to go through our results in just a bit as everyone is going to retire off of the session so we can get started with the race. Okay, right, so let's go to our qualifying uh, results for the start of the race. Kiziado starts in P1, Smitty starts in second, Jagerbaum in third, Snowballer in fourth, Lord in fifth, Bird sixth, we got Brembo seventh, Frazier in eighth, Reckless there in ninth, Leo in ten, Brief and Queen in twelve, Sullivan in thirteen, Dizzle in fourteen, Oz there fifteen, Liam in sixteen, Wilco there in seventeen. And that's going to be it for the race start, guys. We're going to wait until the uh, we got just a few more minutes and then we're going to get straight into the uh, race start.
All right, guys, so there we go. Getting started with our formation lap here right now. Askiziato is uh, going to lead the grid all around uh, the track here. And uh, just everyone's going to get everything warmed up. That was a bit of a practice start for them. And just to um, yeah, get brakes and stuff up the temperature. And also gives us a chance to get our stats up on the screen for the race start. I really don't like keeping telemetry too much on uh, screen. It kind of takes up a bit of the screen down at the bottom there. And uh, blocks off you know just uh, from seeing stuff sometimes so i'm gonna keep that off as i usually tend to do that i usually you actually keep it on before but yeah so going through our grid once again so remember we got kizzy other starting on polis smitty on the front row just in second place with him jagerbomb and snowball there on the second row we got lord and bro bremer and fraser on the fourth row amg reckless and leo on the fifth row of the grid we got briefing call and grimmy on the sixth row sully dizzle in the seventh row Pause and uh, liam there on the eighth of the grid go there by himself uh on 17 position so um we're gonna see how well these guys get away on the race start here gonna be very very interesting to see at least for our top 10 cars how they get through and uh at the back of the grid i'm quite sure some of these cars are gonna try uh try to make quite a few positions up let's have a few details up on screen here at the moment and have a look at starting tires so we got top 10 cars all starting on these soft tires there we got uh, e let's see, Briefing Cow 11 starting on medium, Sullivan starting medium, Qua starting on mediums. Down in the back of the wheel, we have Grimmy and Wilco starting on softs. And I got um, Dizzle and uh, Liam starting on the hard tires. So, a bit of a different strategy uh, playing through the back of the grid here right now. A bit of a mix of strategy with these guys. And we're going to see how well that works off. And of course, no penalties as yet. We're going to see how penalties play out coming down to the end of the race. Uh, yeah, guys, so let's get ready for this. The. Uh, for SNRC Australian Grand Prix and it's gonna be an interesting nine laps to go the minute and 20 something seconds a lap and we'll see how fast we're gonna get through that I think we have our cars now getting uh, back sorted on the grid yep definitely everyone getting back into the grid slots here right now hopefully no one uh, jumps the race start here today everyone hopefully gets a really good start and a really good run down into turn one let's see if he can get a auto on it is the first thing i'm gonna be looking at and bomb or um, snowball might be getting in on that bad there as well as we're about to get started here right now just waiting for those five lights to start going off and then we know we're gonna be getting guys here we go all right guys so that's five lights all right and they're off and let's see who gets a better run down into turn we're trying to have an onboard view and kiss the auto seems to be out pretty uh good already and running and we got a mix of grade on the left hand side of the screen so ignore the leaderboard for now we're just following with smitty right now as he's chasing down kiss the trying to keep up with him and we got here one here very very close to smitty trying to get past here as well and uh, yes, yeah, so both Ferrari, we got Jacobum and Brembo behind each other. Snowball down to, to uh, behind them right now. I can't even tell positions because the leaderboard just gets mixed up. And we have a safety car. Something's probably happened down at the back there. And that's someone losing their front wing right now. And that is Leo with a 5 second penalty for severe collision with Bird. And this is all happening somewhere down at the back, I assume. Trying to have a look at what's happening right now. Our grid is finally uh, correct again. And yeah, so safety car on opening lap of the race. I think something did happen down at the back. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Might have been an incident between, let's see, we got, um, I know Leo is missing part of his front wing. What's a board up to? He's not missing anything right now. So not 100% sure on who was involved with that incident safety car there, guys. But uh, quite a bit of debris on track. So that's going to have to be cleared up before we can safely get back racing here again. So I'm just going through the grid, uh, the grid a bit to see how many cars have damage at the moment and how many cars don't have any damage. Uh, yeah, so I'm, we're going to get back to the front of the grid here right now with Kiziato still leading. And let's see what position change is happening on that uh, race start. It's a position change. We got our top three cars, uh, Kiziato, Smitty, and Jagerbomb. They're all right started. So is Briefing Cow in the 11th and Wilco there in uh, seven. And we got some pit stops starting to happen under the safety car here right now as well. So uh, we're going to change this in just a bit later on. And let's see what... That was a five second penalty for bird there yeah and five second penalty for frazier as well 10 second penalty for leo so i'm quite sure he was involved in a bit of an incident somewhere down at the back i think i can't be 100 percent sure uh unfortunately, unfortunately we did not catch that on uh stream there so we got quite a bit of the grid 
in the pits here at the moment under the safety car and going around so everyone's going to continue on with that for just a bit and uh, yeah we're going to have to wait for that to be over before we get back racing the rest of the race pretty okay going on through uh it is very 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 difficult to avoid these kind of incidents a track like australia they do tend to have some contact between cars fortunately though we don't have any cars out fully out of the race Everyone's running in the race and uh, yeah just a bit of an incident between maybe two or three cars that for are there so we're gonna have to be under the safety car for at least about two uh, two and a half to three laps uh, before we do get back racing so I assume we're probably gonna go back racing maybe getting into lap four uh, we'll have to see how that works out race control deemed it's uh, safe to go back racing on track then we'll have that notification from them and we'll actually be able to get back racing uh, pretty quickly with that so we're just waiting for that call there right now from them and uh, yeah, they are going to know that we're going to go back racing so that's ab absolutely not going to be on this lap here I'm quite sure about it maybe at the end of lap three uh, we should be able to know if we're going to get back racing there or not but follow along behind the safety car so yeah quite an interesting start from uh the grid there and uh yeah three cars keeping uh their same positions uh, i know jacobam was actually getting pretty pretty close to smitty and uh yeah kiziato got a pretty good start and he got out just a bit out in front uh the back of the grid i'm not 100 percent sure about because we were trying to get down to them as uh the entire leaderboard got messed up and yeah that issue happened both on ps4 and xbox so i'm not really not sure when that ever is going to be fixed doesn't look like it might ever be fixed though but I'll, I'll, I'll be calling them out on it every single time. That one single issue cannot be fixed for months and months here. Yeah. And it's really annoying. So yeah, we're still going to continue on. Just behind the car, we had a few pit stops happen. So uh, a few cars went into the pits and changed off their tires. Not sure if they are uh, planning to do a one-stop. They might be trying to go to the end of the race. Let's have a look at tires, what they're at right now. So back of the grid, uh, from Sullivan all the way down, took pit stops. And uh, Sullivan's on the hard tires. All the rest of them are on the mediums and um i think it's quite possible they might be trying to push through to the end of the race on those medium tires uh we'll have a look on how that strategy works out for them the rest of our grid out front are still running on their tires that they started the race on so uh liam there's those hard would not want to switch off from them uh because i think he's planning to go quite a long stint with those hard tires and maybe switch on to the softs going down to the end or maybe to the mediums i'm not sure as yet we'll see how that works out for him as we're coming down to the end of uh, lap 3 here right now. Under the safety car still. It's only a 29 lap race. So um, this race does tend to go by uh, pretty quickly when it is about 29 laps. With about a minute and uh, 25 seconds or so uh, for a lap. So right now we got a safety car is going to be in on this uh, lap here. It's going to be in on the end of this lap. And uh, that's going to be safety car going off. Because the other is hold back the grid for just a bit. So the safety car can go in. He's going to keep... Uh, under the same speed limit that he's running there with right now about 40 percent speed limit less than the usual racing speed so uh, yeah he's gonna do that and uh, everyone's gonna be weaving around just a bit just to keep those tires warm and keep it and uh so we can get back to racing and have a good race so kisiato definitely will be getting the best possible restart final turn will be gunning it straight down into turn one and uh trying to have smitty not keep smitty to keep as close as he can right now to uh Kiziado and maybe try to get a good start maybe get a good run with him down to turn one but uh let's see how that's gonna go we got Jagerbaum and Brembo everyone else is much much closer to each other now for this restart and there goes uh Kiziado getting a very good start already over a second a gap is we got Jagerbaum trying to go side by side Smitty through into turn one and has the inside let's see if he's gonna get that overtake done right here or not he has a Steven Brembo coming just behind them as well both of them go through turn one no contact between both cars and we got Jagerbaum up into P2 Brembo up three and Smitty is all the way down into P4 right and losing two positions instead of one and uh, yeah so he's still trying to catch her back but now has somebody behind him and also uh, very very close Bird we got there getting very close behind Lord right now trying to catch up and get past him for sixth place at the moment so a pretty good bad going on through our grid from uh, front we got uh, Kiziado still leading out and getting a really good start and getting away ahead there Snowball there still very close behind Smitty really trying to get up and behind him to get a gap to go alongside but not getting that as yet and uh, just behind that is Bert and Briefing Cow so all pretty close together for at least a P4 uh, position here right now so Smitty still coming on a lot of pressure from uh, Snowball 
and uh, trying to keep his P4 position. Lost two positions from the start, restart of this uh, so far. We got Boyd getting very, very close now. Let's have a look and see if he can go with. Currently not able to find that gap and still just trying to keep his car as close as he can, waiting for a DRS to come back online here at the moment. Of course, we didn't even have enough for the start of the race because we had a safety car in the lap, uh, lap one. So uh, let's see how this works out. And that was just a very, very close near miss for uh, Board. They're almost losing a portion of his front wing. That's easy out of the fastest car. Uh, not too surprising. He has a good uh, lead out front, about 3.6 seconds right now, and still going with that. Gabby's starting to get very close to board here right now. He's trying to get in on this battle as well. Has Leon right second behind. So I don't think he's too worried about that at the moment. Uh, down in the back, I got Leo and uh, Sullivan switching position. Actually, they're going side by side. Still fighting for P12 here at the moment. And let's see who's coming out of this one in front. Uh, Grimmy getting behind them, uh, trying to get in that battle as well. And now he's trying to go side by side with Sullivan a bit. And uh, yeah, still has to hold it down into 14. And let's see how that plays out because uh, that gap is actually pretty close. Does have AMG Reckless for company in 15 just behind him as well. So a good three with your four-way battle going on for P13 at least. And uh, we got AMG Reckless. He has Diesel behind him for company. So quite a train of cars fighting it out right now for P13. Uh, and a few penalties being handed out out in front with the, around the midfield actually with the grid. Most likely being the three second penalties for track limits here at the moment. So Grimmy very very close right now to Sullivan. So is AMG Reckless just behind him as he takes the inside and pushes through. And does look like he's getting up into position. That puts Sullivan 14 and AMG Reckless gets as well go side by side still fight the outside and might try to get around uh getting through back to the pit straight let's see has to hold it in p15 uh reckless there so let's see if he has a good run down with the turn one here now has diesel for company behind him though so diesel is going to try and get up alongside him and let's see if he does do that no actually he holds it down to 16 doesn't want to risk it at the moment and uh, we got board getting trying to get a move done on uh briefing cow here at the moment so holding on to P8 and let's see if he's able to get by. Very, very close behind a briefing car right now. I'm really, really looking forward to have to go on. Uh, has to be as careful as he can. Getting through, doesn't just losing control of the rear. Just putting that car into the wall. That's going to be the entire race over if he does do that. So he's going to have to be very careful. Uh, so quite a few gaps going. We got Kisiato still leading out front. Yegobom losing time to him right now. 5.4 seconds is the gap between the two of them. I got Smitty getting very close to Burnbo out front as well, so we're going to have to keep an eye on that battle as it continues on. Down in the back, we got Dizzle still following Reckless, and AMG Reckless still following on with Sullivan down there as well. Let's go down back to the battle, down in the back, and see what's happening at the back of the grid. As these three are still very close, it's a fight for 14 position, and I think I got Reckless and Sullivan going side by side right now. Green in front trying to get a lead on them, and 3.4 seconds. That's Will. How he is out, uh, what's what uh, might have retired into the pits. We're not the front of yellow flag in sector three and going. We got a pizza by Jaeger bomb right now. I'm still following on with uh, Sullivan and Dizzle here at the moment, still a quite a close gap between the two of them. As we're getting on board with Dizzle here right now, let's have a look if he's going to have a go on the outside. No, actually holds it on to 15 for now still and running. Not going to push it through. And Sullivan on the slower tires, on the uh, hard tires there right now. And we got Dizzle on the mediums and running. So let's see if he's going to have the better run to get past. A very difficult portion of the track to get an overtake done here. But still, he's pushing to keep as close behind the Alfa Romeo as he can. And still has a good gap to work with. So still, uh, we all know we got Lord getting very close to the zoom ball out there in P4 at the moment. We're going to keep an eye on that. And we got a penalty now. And he's running there. Oh, and Lord is out of the race. Something has happened out in front. Let's see what, if we can have a look. And there is Lord's car. He lost it, I think, getting off that car. And I, know, I, I really know that where that is. So you go, I'm now running in 16. And I think this is the corner where uh, Lord lost it and went straight into the barrier there. Yeah, definitely went a little bit too wide maybe on the curve at the exit of that turn. And I think that's where he lost it. I think that's usually where it, how it happens. We have the safety car for that incident because uh, they're definitely going to be on debris on track. 
and that's going to have to be clear before we do get back racing. There's a safety car waiting for a briefing car who is now leading the Australian Grand Prix. And uh, yeah, because of the pit stops happening with everyone who was out in front and running. And let's see where the Kiziado come. Kizzy in seven behind him there in eight after his pit stop. Let's see how well Kiziado works to build positions and get back out into the lead of the race here. So briefing car is with Liam in second, in third, requires their in fourth. Leo in fifth, Grimmy in sixth and seven. Silver now in eight, Dizzle in nine, Brembo in ten, Snowball eleven, Smitty twelve, Yegobam in thirteen, Bird in fourteenth, and Reckless in fifteen. We got Lord out of the race and Wilco out of the race here as well. Wilco, I think, retired from the session in the pits. And Lord lost it on the exit somewhere in, uh, that was in sector two, I think, getting to sector three. And uh, yeah, last lost it on that curb and went straight into the wall, I think, uh, there. I'm not sure if he was battling it with someone at the moment or not, or just lost it all by itself. Uh, we'll probably know a bit more about that later on. But yeah, so far, so Briefing Cow continues to have a look at what people are like here now. As they are, let's see. As they are, we got Requaz yet to stop. Liam and Briefing Cow are yet to stop in this race. But we'll see how that really works for them. So Kiziado on fresh hard tires and definitely going to the end of the race on those tires there. And we're going to see how many cars in front of him choose not to take another pit stop, if so. Because I think Grimmy there took a pit stop already. Leo took a stop already. Let's have a look at that. Now, oh, penalties as they are. Eight seconds of penalties for Leo. Three seconds for Liam and Briefing Cow each. And Smitty as well. So have a look at position changes as they are. Liam so far has gained the most penalties. And uh, what else was I checking? Um... So yeah, requires yet to stop Liam and Briefing Cow. And those are the lifespan of their tires. So Grimmy stopped already. Uh, but does have Kizzy out of a company behind him on this restart. So let's see how that's going to go down there uh, for Grimmy as well. He might be in a bit of pressure with Kizzy out of coming behind him and trying to get by on this restart. Briefing car hopefully might be getting a pretty good restart after the safety car is over. Hopefully it might be at the end of this lap. I'm not sure. Maybe at the end of the next lap. We'll have a look on how that actually runs through. But yeah, now nah, uh, I can't say it has been a to this race. It's been a pretty good start. We did have a safety car in the opening lap, and now we have a second safety car here. No VSCs so far in the race. Unfortunately, there were some minor incidents at the start, and a car out uh, at this point in the race, which has caused this safety car here. And that is Lord was out of the race. Uh, lost it, I think, um, off of a curves and just uh, ended up in the wall. There's a car back from that. If he did that curb too much, uh, but yeah, uh, we're going to see how the restart does go. Because I don't think these guys want to be driving under a safety car for too long. Definitely going to want to get this race back and going again. So we're just waiting to see uh, when that is going to happen here. Oh, and there we have it. So safety car is going to be in on this lap, guys. So... Uh, Definitely going to be interesting to see what this restart is going to be like. Alright, so our safety car is already heading off. He's going to be getting back into the pits as uh, Briefing Cow is going to lead everyone around the final sector. And then we're going to get this restart going. Uh, going to be interesting to see if uh, Briefing Cow gets a good start and if uh, Grimmy is able to hold off Kiziato uh, there in 7. Because I'm quite sure he's definitely going to be looking to get a good run down to turn 1 to get up a position or 2 and try to get back the lead of this race. I don't think he wants to give that up so easily. It had a pretty good, pretty good time in qualifying and are about to get restarted here right now. Let's have a look. So uh, Briefing Cow definitely getting a good start and going. I have a look at Grimmy down at the back. Uh, he's getting a pretty good go with uh, Requaz in front of him. Really trying to actually go side by side, but not even close enough to actually do that as yet. And Kiziado about half a second behind. So let's see how that actually works out. And let's see what's happening down in the midfield here right now. As a following with Snowball going side by side with, uh, I think, Dizzle there at the moment. No, not Dizzle, sorry. That was Sullivan and uh, Snowball, I think. Anyways, positions are holding for the moment at least. We got Grimmy trying to get by a Requaz here and gets up into 6th position right now. I, no, no, 5th position, sorry. That's Requaz down to 6th. And Kiziado very, very close behind. And let's see 
able to get up a position or not. He's really looking for a gap to go side by side, but not able uh, to get there as yet. Running out of track actually to do this. Our uh, turns coming up uh, way too quick on him, so he's really going to have to wait for uh, enough of a straight. And he's thinking he's trying to go side by side right now with Requaz. Gets up into P6 and put Requaz down to 7. So that's a position up for Kiziado, a position up for Grimmy there. And uh, they're going to continue to chase it out to the front of the grid at the moment. Down in the back, I got Bird getting very to Smiggy as well. Trying to keep an eye on if that battle is going to uh, end up anywhere or not. It's keeping constant just under half a second at the moment and going. Everyone seems to be running pretty well. I don't think uh, any incidents on that restart. Maybe some minor contacts. I'm not sure. We might have a few more pit stops happening here right now. Uh, so Snowball is currently into the pits there. Going up in front, we got Frazier. About half a second, I say, behind Liam there. And in the back, I think AMG Reckless is very close behind someone. Let's have a look here right now. Oh, we got Yegoban for company behind him. Uh, so that might be something to work. We got a Mercedes into the wall there right now. I and that's Grimmy. Something the Grimmy's car. I'm not sure how that even happened there, but he's lost out quite a few positions all the way down to 14th right now uh, with a damaged front wing. And he was running six, so he's gonna have to take another pit stop to get that taken care of. I'm not sure if any debris on track to cause a VSC, but it seems to be clear car and running. So out front, we still got Briefing Cow leading this race with a penalty. Liam there in second, still with a penalty. Frazier now running third, and Liam in fourth, another second behind Frazier. Kiziado now up into fifth position. Uh, Grimmy is out down to the bottom of the and uh, requires now running six snowball took a piss off he's in seventh and the moment sullivan there in eight smitty just behind sullivan let's see trying to go side by side with him and uh, let's see if he gets up uh, sullivan really trying to hold on to that position but under a lot of pressure right now from smitty who now into uh, eighth position and looks like he might actually hold out with bird and uh, getting past him there as well i think bird went on the outside up into ninth position in front of Sullivan now. We I'm trying to get past Sullivan as well. Uh, DRS has now been enabled, so they'll have that advantage to work with him. It's coming another half a second behind. And trying to get up. Kiziato just behind Leo here right now. He's trying to get up a position. And let's have a look if he's actually getting through with that or not. I might actually take it into the next turn. As he goes on the outside. And let's see. Might actually get this done. And any contact between the two cars so far and going. And gets... P4, P5 right now, down in the back of the grid as uh, AMG Reckless is trying to keep ahead of Sullivan there in 11th now. And we got Sullivan uh, just about half a second behind actually, so he's still really trying to keep up with the gap that he has at the moment. Brembo there down about 19 seconds. We got Dizzle and Grimmy in the pits, really having a bad race here today. Uh, Grimmy was way up in 6, had a bit of an incident, I think maybe had contact in another car, maybe just lost the rear, I'm not sure as yet but then ended up in the wall and he has to replace his front wing i think someone was off track here for a second following the bomb right now as he is chasing down bird who's currently chasing down actually so we're just keeping eye on this battle as that goes on through at the moment and we can see bird getting very close to smitty now starting to break that gap down is per second to about seven to gain uh, to get up right behind his car and maybe try for an overtake move. Oh, we got Kiziado up front in P4 trying to get by. Uh, uh, and he got by, gets by Frazier up into P3 right now. And quite an interesting overtake move there. And gets up into P3 though. And that's up into podium back for uh, Kiziado now. We got Diego Bomb and Bird going side by side right now. Let's see who we are getting out of this one. I got Bird on the inside. Now has to take it behind though. Uh, so that's Diego Bomb into 9th, Bird in 10th. Bermo getting the fastest lap in the race so far. And these three are chasing each other around trying here. Diego Bomb is now going to chase down for P8. And uh, Kiziado trying to break his gap of 1.6 seconds down to catch up to Liam there in P2 to get that position back. Let's see how that's going to work out for him. I was on our second. We're going to have to switch them in just a bit. And we're on lap 13 right now and going. So getting very close to the half of this race. And Jägerbaum is actually breaking that gap down as we speak here at the moment. Really trying to keep it as low as he can. Bird trying to get alongside him though. And get up into another. So let's see what that's work. Trying to get on the inside. Does take it behind for now. Doesn't want to risk it at the moment. In P10 and running. Really trying to get up higher into the points here. Liam there has gotten his gap to under a second behind race leader briefing car right now. So uh, we're going to keep an eye on that battle there as well. As Kiziato still trying to break his gap to Liam down. So Liam still seems to be running pretty well. 
as we got Jacobom on the uh, pitch straight right now, still behind uh, Smitty and running. Really trying to bring that gap down as fast as he can here. Let's have a moment to see what's happening. Gets up pretty close, but uh, still not able to uh, get an uh, opportunity to get an overtake done as yet. So, so far, so good. 22 drivers. So, we're on lap 14 and going. Just getting to the halfway point here right now. Another 15 laps to go in this race. There's Brembo there with a three second penalty, and I think he recently had the fastest lap in the race. So, we're still following Andre Jacobon as he's chasing down Smitty for eighth position. Snowball, they're getting very close to Requaz as well. I have to keep an eye on that battle as it continues on. Out front, I have Kiziado no under a second behind Liam. And Liam has lost some time to Briefing Cow, who's leading the race. So we're just trying to keep an eye on all of this as it's happening here, right? So I got the one very close to, uh, close to uh, Snowball there as well. Snowball actually getting very close. To uh, requires as well. I'm trying to keep up as much of these battles as I can. So we've just gone to there. Let's switch on in front actually to Kiziado here right now, who is now right up to the rear of Liam's car. And let's see if he's able to get by this occasional lap here for him. And that is Bird getting another penalty there. Currently running in 10th. And really trying to catch it back to Jagerbaum. He's losing some time there right now. Jagerbaum and Smitty are pretty close to each other. Snowball, they're very close to Requaz as well. As they're trying to keep up with Kiziaru and Liam. Uh, to see if this battle is going anywhere or not. Uh, does seem to be a closer fight with Requaz and Snowball in 6 and 7 there at the moment. So let's switch on back to that for now at least. And Smitty getting up very close with his battle as well. So really interested to see how this is going to play out. Four cars de dealing with this at the moment. Well, we got Smitty, we got Jagerbaum uh, all in this battle fighting for uh, P6 here. And uh, Requaz is trying to get up on the outside and get by. And we got Smitty get up on the inside of uh, Requaz right now. He's trying to get by. And Jagerbaum getting through to this as well. Requaz down to 9th right now. Jagerbaum has gotten a position up to 10th and still fighting through to get through with Smitty at the moment. And let's see if that is actually going to work out for him or not. I think he almost lost it on the exit there, but going pretty well so far. All heading along into turn one. A bit of a train of cars still going through from seven to uh, from six all the way down to uh, ten. And they're going to go with Smitty here right now. A bit of inner contact with, and that is an end plate off of Jacobom's car there right now. So it took some damage off of that. A risk for him. So still running in eight right now. That's definitely going to affect his performance on that car. And Smitty there getting very close to Snowball, who's currently running in six. Let's see how that battle plays out. Out front, we got a very close gap between our top three cars between Briefing Cow, Liam, and Kiziado. Everyone under a second behind each other. Frazier and Leo already have a gap of uh, like half a second at the moment. So we're trying to keep up and uh, have a look at who is going to be breaking their gap down faster. Right now, it seems to be Jaeger and uh, Smitty there. And getting we're going to try and keep in the middle of this one to see how this plays out. And Smitty really looking to see where to go if it's on the inside or the outside right now. Gets right up to the rear of uh, Snowball's car, so really looking for a gap. Uh, and I don't think he's too worried. And Kiziado gets up into second because Liam now is in the pits. And uh, we know Briefing Cow still has to take a pit stop there as well. So 1.1 second that gap is, and that's going to be uh, something to look forward to. And we got a virtual safety car right now. Dizzle is out of the race, and I think this happened in Sector 1. We might be able to have a look at this as we get up there right now. Let's have a look from Briefing Cow's uh, car. I think uh, his car has already disappeared. I think that happened somewhere right around here. Alright, so that's going to be a virtual safety car for that incident with Dizzle there. I'm not sure exactly what happened with this car, but he is out of the session. 14 drivers now remain as we're on lap 17 and run. We got about 12 and a half laps left in this race and we're back racing again. The VSC is over. Uh, track is green. And uh, someone just Frazier, I think, has got a penalty for speeding under the VSC. And we got Kiziado right up to the rear of the uh, Riffenthal's car here. 
I think that that VSC played right into his hands here right now. Because he actually gained some time off of that VSC and is right up to the rear of Griffin Cow. And definitely looks like he might be getting by pretty soon as we're following on with that chase here at the moment. And we got Leo there getting very close to uh, I think Frazier there as well. Let's see if he's going to be able to get by. And that gap had just went away as we did switch to it. So we're going to go back down to Kisiado out in front as he's still chasing down Griffin Cow, who is desperately trying to hold on to the lead of the Australian Grand Prix right now. I think that gap might be really going away from him. And let's see uh, how good of a run Kiziado is going to have going through on the pit straight there right now. And really he's going to try and does a, has a lot of straight line speed. Gets up on the inside and looks like he might be getting by. And does take the Lyricing line back. And he is up into P1 back leading the race there. Uh, Kiziado. So uh, puts briefing down. Griffin Cow down to P2 and uh, then now Leo running in P2, Snowballer in P4, Smitty running in 5th, Diego Bomb running in 6th, we got Bird running in 7th at the moment, Requires running in, uh, oh, Requ oh AMG Reckless is out of the race, what's happened to his car, I think he might have had a bit of an incident uh, with someone, let's have a look here, that is Bird's car and AMG Reckless on the side, I think the two of them had a bit of an incident, so that's AMG Reckless out of the race, might have had a bit of an incident with Bird, and uh, I think Boyd is going to have to... Was it Boyd or someone? Definitely someone. I'm not sure what happened, but I know definitely a bit of an incident between two cars there to cause that to happen. So yeah, that's going to be AMG Reckless out of the race now. 13 drivers now remain, and that's going to be a full-on safety car for that incident because that's kind of stuck on track. Uh, there's going to be a lot of debris there to be cleared out as well. And um, yeah. So we're going to have to wait. So just a bit more. So we'll probably have about nine laps of racing left to go after this safety car is finished here. Unfortunate for AMG Reckless there. Had a bit of incident. Uh, but not able to finish the race there. Now Dizzle had a bit of incident there as well. So did Lord Wilco. I think he's retired in the pits. So race leaders have pitted and looks like Liam is taking over the lead of the race right now. Yes, he is. Let's have a look at what uh, stops were like. So um, position changes as they are. Liam has gained 15 positions in this race. So even if he loses out the, the lead of the race, so Kiziado still has gained the most and looks looking very good actually to get driver of the day here today stops as they are so Kiziero has made two stops Liam has just made that one stop and he's uh, recently stopped actually so he's on the fresh soft tires so definitely not stopping again so really needs to put uh, a battle towards Kiziero to keep him behind uh, to get that race win of course does have a six second penalty so yeah, I think it's gonna be quite difficult for him to actually hold off Kiziero six seconds behind with a uh, restart going on pretty soon so uh, I'm not sure how this is going to work out for Liam, but uh, with that six second penalty and drivers behind them having penalties as well, he stands a pretty good chance of actually still getting onto the podium here, but he's going to really have to try and get a lead away from either Kiziado or Briefing Cow there, who's currently running in third. So we're going to see how that actually works out for him in terms of that. So everyone so far has taken all the pit stops that needed, and let's have a look back at penalties as a moment. So 14 seconds of penalties there for Brembo. Uh, Grimmy there just uh, behind you, so he's going to be able to get up a position at least uh, there before we finish this race and uh, we're going to see how that works out for him even if he'll just get by into a P12 just like that on his own but uh, yeah he did have a bit of a bad start to this race on the uh, opening few laps did fall on quite a few positions with a bit of an incident into the uh, wall just after turn one uh, so we're going to keep an eye on most of our grid right now getting back to this restart pretty soon so yeah, I think everyone currently is on fresh tires except for uh, Liam who's currently leading the race and those tires are only two laps old so I don't think that's much of a performance difference in terms of uh, getting to the end of the race with just about uh, 10 laps remaining here at this point. So just going to be about maybe nine, nine and a half laps of racing to deal with. I don't think those tires are going to leave any trouble getting through that. So uh, he really needs to worry about his auto behind him. I think Skizia is definitely going to be putting the pressure on Liam. But I think the best chance he has 
is to try and get a perfect start or a perfect restart actually after the safety car when he does get around that final turn onto the fifth straight he needs to really gun it straight into turn one and try to keep a lead uh, between himself and Kiziado and let's see how that's going to actually work out for him or not so yeah he's gained the most position in this race so far so yeah gotta say he's running pretty pretty well he started way down on the bottom of the grid but uh, not too bad for his uh, current position there but six seconds of penalties are going to hurt his race if he didn't have any penalties I'll say he's had a really good chance of staying on the podium here but I'm not sure how well that's going to work out for him with the amount of penalties that he currently has so uh yeah we're gonna see how that plays out coming down to the end of the race but uh yeah so far so liam currently leads still kiss the in second and briefing out there in turn gonna be a very very interesting restart when we do get to that point uh here right now we're just waiting for a uh, notification from race control that uh safety car is gonna be in and hopefully that's gonna happen at the end of this lap we're gonna have to wait until the cars enter into sector three uh, to have that notification from race control whether we're gonna have the safety car in on this lap or not but so far has been quite an interesting session a really interesting qualifying session some really good lap times and uh actually not too bad of a start from the race and uh, up to this point there's been some really really intense and uh really good battles going through a lot of really good overtakes in this race as well so i uh, gotta say good job on the drivers with that so far unfortunate for amt reckless uh, dizzle lord and wilco for not being able to finish uh, the Australian Grand Prix here and there we have a race control says safety car is going to be in on this lap so perfect news for us because we're about to get back racing and have about nine laps nine to ten laps of racing to go here I get into lap 21 so I'll say about nine laps of racing and uh yeah we're gonna see how well that works out for race leader Liam here with his six seconds of penalties Kiziato not having any penalties we also got Requa, Sullivan, Frazier and Grimmy currently no penalties on these guys so all driving pretty well so far all right we're about to get around the final turn here right now let's have a look from Kiziato's end how Liam is getting away and didn't seem to get the perfect getaway here he is not too far behind he's less than half a second away as we're trying to follow along with the rest of the grid right now see how everyone is getting through for the opening back lap here and everyone seems to be getting through pretty well so far not too bad actually uh Kiziad is actually pretty pretty close to liam here and definitely looking to get an overtake done i think he was thinking about going on the inside but to rethink that and actually held it back into second for now so that's the closest gap i think we have at the moment here and going and i don't think uh Kiziad is going to give this up he's going to push forward and try to get past briefing cow is uh on the other hand trying to get up close to uh Kiziato's car as well maybe trying to get up an extra position if he can when Kiziato tries to overtake lee and might actually try to get in on that battle too so we're going to see how that works on so jaeger bomb they're getting very very close to smitty and let's see if he's able to get by or not not as yet actually still has to hold it where he is and we got Fraser and Sullivan switching positions here right now getting back up to briefing car who's getting very close to the rear end of Kiziato's car and Liam seems to be getting a bit of a lead going here right now Kiziato has a three second penalty and that's definitely going to hurt his chances of winning the race right now he might still be able to do this but he has to get past uh, Liam and take away the lead of the race which he's actually still trying to do right now so we're still trying to keep up with our top three cars there liam kiziato and briefing cow all pretty close together a snowball under a second behind these guys as well so he might actually trying to get up into that fight for p1 let's see how that works out as a bit of a gap between liam and kiziato right now and uh, liam is actually looking pretty good uh of keeping uh the, the race lead at the moment if he does know that uh, Kiziato took a three second penalty, he might actually force him and try to keep him behind as much as he can. But Kiziato really trying to push to get ahead here right now. Once again, not able to push through on the uh, outside or inside. He got an overtake done. Has to hold it there in P2. Run up 22 of running. He's going to start to run out of laps here pretty soon and uh, to do this. So he's definitely going to have to get a move on to get that overtake done if he really does want to get it done. But he doesn't want to risk losing out on a podium position here so let's see how this is going to work out for him uh, so far so good he's right up to the rear of liam's car other close up we have is brembo down at the back and grimy there getting very very close to sullivan as well that gap is going coming just a bit uh so we're just trying to keep an eye and see what's happening down here so kiziato still chasing down liam down at the back i think grimy got past sullivan there He's up into P10 right now. Brembo, they're getting very close to uh, Sullivan. Getting side by side with him. And I think he's gotten up. He's got back to the racing line. So he's got up into 11. Sullivan's just lost two positions within one lap. 
So not having the best of time there right now. Let's get her back to what Yegwam is up to here at the moment. So he is currently chasing down Leo for fifth position. Down the pace straight they go and let's see who gets out in the turn one. Now side by side but still close enough to um, try and get up a position here. And uh, Yegwam is not messing around. He's get backs on the power pretty quickly and uh, let's see if he's able to get by a position or not here still has to hold it true really doesn't want to risk losing out on his position that he has in p6 right now does have a penalty and has before just under a second behind him so looking at that at the moment bird and frazier switching positions here as frazier gets by up into p8 bird is down to p9 right now still trying to get back his position if he can Still has a pretty close gap, so still stands a pretty good chance of getting back. Yegumom getting on the head and very close to Ye Leo here again. And uh, might be trying for an overtake move if he gets close enough. Still not close enough of a gap to work with. Just He's getting very close, but still just not getting a really good gap to go with. And doesn't need to be on the, uh, a good portion of the track actually to get that overtake done. And that is a 3 second penalty for Yegumom there for track limits. And he's still going to fight for this position. Oh, a bit of contact between the two cars. I'm not sure if any damage was taken there. And Yegorom took some damage from that actually. Lost a big chunk of his front wing and just got passed by Requaz, who is now up into P6. So that move actually cost him just a bit. And he's getting into the pits there right now to get that change off. And maybe get another first set of tires as well. We got Bird getting passed up into P7 now as well there because of uh, Yegorom's pit stop. We got uh, Kiziaro fighting the lead out front. I think got by. He just got by uh, Liam there. Now takes away the lead. And let's see if Liam is able to get back that lead or not. Still chasing on pretty close behind. Penalty is we'll be getting to that in just a bit. To see what they actually look like. Liam is fighting it right now to keep uh, this fight alive. But it seems like Kiziaro might be trying to get the lead out from him. As he knows he has a penalty as well. So just in case he does get another penalty, doesn't want to risk uh, losing his uh, P1 position here right now. Also stay tuned guys, we're going to try to have podium positions at the end of this race. I've already left uh, everything set up so the guys can join onto the chat and we can have just a quick word with our top three drivers uh, when they do a go across the line here. And uh, hopefully everything with the audio comes through well for you guys to have uh, listen to what they have to say about the race and what they felt about it. So I'm not sure who we're going to be speaking to as yet, as we're only on lap 24 and running. We're going to wait until at least lap 28, 29 to have a look at who is currently leading this race. And let's have a look down at the back with Frazier and Bird here. Let's see what's happening with the two of them. As Kiziaro now takes fastest lap of the race and tries to get a lead out front. He has Gavin over a second now and running. So doing pretty well so far. Brembo under a second and we got I think a few more cars we got a little bit closer under a second behind Leo as well so let's have a look and see what our closest gap is going to be in just a bit here so Liam having some difficulty keeping up with Kiziaro and Briefing Co having some difficulty keeping up with Liam as well getting down to uh, Brembo down here in 10th he's trying to chase down Grimmy for 9th position Actually seems to be getting pretty close. So let's see if he's able to get an overtake done on Grimmy or not. Or if Grimmy is going to be able to hold on to his position. Grimmy I think is on fresh uh, soft tires at the moment too. So uh, it might be a little bit difficult for him to get by. He's getting pretty close. But let's see if he gets that gap to actually work with or not. And there's Snowball with another 3 second penalty. We're on up 25 and running right now. We're going to be switching uh, to our penalties on in just a bit. Uh, by the time we get to lap 28 at least. And this gap is getting pretty close between Brembo and Grimmy, uh, Grimmy here, but uh, not getting in for an overtake as a time. We're going to switch to Requaz in just a bit if he gets any closer to his uh, hard front. I know it doesn't seem to that's happening. Don't get a bad forgot. Jägerbaum trying to catch up with Smitty right now for a 12th position. Jägerbaum had a bit of an issue when trying to get an overtake done. He's actually getting pretty close to Smitty on very, very fresh soft tires. So let's see how those tires are going to work for him here right now. Brembo is actually breaking his gap down pretty fast. And that is Bird and Requaz, I think, switching positions out front. Six and seven there. Uh, these two are going side by side. Let's see between Smitty and Jaeger. Jaegerbaum seems to be going up a position. Uh, Smitty has to take it down into 13th right now so yes Jaegerbaum up a position there 
He's now going to be chasing down after Sullivan, who's currently 13 seconds away. And let's see if he's able to do that. Requires and Lord. Let's see what's happening with these two here right now. So a very close gap between them. I also with Bird out just out in front. And um, we got Grimmy and Brembo still have a very close gap down uh, behind these guys here. For ninth position that battle is on for Leo there with a three second penalty. Uh, just about three cars right now. Not having any penalties in this race so far. Uh, we're going to have a look at how penalties are working out for our race finishes in just a bit. Still on lap 26. I think we're about to get into lap 27 here right now. So just on three la just on the three laps left to go in this race here guys so i'm gonna do stay tuned we're gonna try and have some post-race interviews uh with our podium finishers at the end of this session just as soon as we get everyone across the line so we're still waiting for that to end up happening here we're following on with requires at the moment as we're getting so close to the end of this race to see if he's able to get him a position or not bermuda they're getting very close as well to grimmy still following two great battles going on and uh that gap is just keeping about uh, two tenths off of behind each of each other right now. It's just going and coming on certain portions of the track. As you can see, Brembo and Grimmy coming just behind uh, Requaz there. I got Bird out front. These two are just trying to keep ahead and try not to get on this battle. But a bit of a train between uh, we got uh, Leo, Bird, Frazier and uh, Requaz here. Grimmy and uh, Brembo not too far back. And out front, we got Briefing out trying to get his gap under a second behind Liam. Liam has lost a lot of time to Kisiato, who is now 2.7 seconds away from uh, Liam there. We're getting very, very close to the end of this here race here right now, guys. Gaps are being just a bit constant between most of our drivers. And you're going to another penalty there right now. As we're currently on lap 28. So let's get penalties on with us here right now and have a look. So let's see who has the most position gains. That is still Liam there with 14 positions gained so far. And we're going to leave penalties on right now. So you guys can have a look at what's happening. So Brembo with 15 seconds of penalties. Loses a position to Sullivan there. And we got Leo with about 12 seconds of penalties right now. And we're following on with Requaz and Bird at the moment still. That gap is as close as it can be there right now. But Lucas is really not just getting a gap to go on. And he's running out of laps right now. We're going to be entering into lap 29. The final lap of the Australian Grand Prix here for round 4. With SNRC uh, in just a bit. And uh, Lucas is going to have to get a move on. If he wants to get up a position. But he's going to be getting up a position either way. He only has 3 seconds of penalties. Whereas Bird has 6 seconds of penalties. So that's going to be something for him to deal with there. We're going to see how that works out either way. As I think he's about to try and go on the inside here right now. And let's see if he gets up a position. Has gotten up back onto the racing lines. The bird down to 8th position. And requires up into 7th right now. And he's definitely going to try to hold that out going all the way to the end. The race leader has already entered into the final lap of this race. And we're going through. Has a bit of a lead already too. So 4.1 seconds Kiziado has over uh, Liam there who's running in 2nd right now. So we're still following on with Bird to see if he's able to catch back up to Requaz. Still keeping very, very close behind uh, Requaz's car, but still not going to... I don't think he's going to be able to get a gap to go on here unless Requaz makes a mistake. He is really pushing hard, though, trying to keep up with him as much as he can. It's still a fight to go across the line. It's in seventh position here for him. Uh, either even if he's going to lose uh, that position or not, doesn't really care at the moment. Grimmy there running in ninth right now with Sullivan in ten. No penalties for the two of them. So both of them actually running pretty, pretty good there. I'm going to switch on to our race leader in just a bit to watch him go across the line for P1. And we got Grimmy trying to get up a position here on Bird as well. He's getting very close. And let's see if he's going to have a go at him before we get to that finish line as well. We know he's going to gain a position either way. But we're going to have a look to see how that works. Our leader on the other hand is going to lose quite a few positions because of the uh, amount of penalties that he does have. And we're about to get on with Kiziado going across the line for a pole position here at Australia. And that's him taking the win. We got Liam coming for a second with six seconds of penalties. And he might be losing it to Briefing Cow. 
and goes into the wall actually across the line. So a brief and cow takes away second. Liam there in third. Snowball coming around for fourth position. Leo is going to cross the line in fifth, but definitely not going to be able to keep that position, unfortunately for him. Let's see who's going to be coming across for fifth. And that is a bit of an incident on that race finish there. So Frazier, so let's see, Snowball takes fourth. And Grimmy takes fifth. Frazier takes six. Requats takes seven. Leo takes eight. Bird takes nine. We got uh, Sullivan in 10th, and uh, Yegobon finishes 13th. I think I got Smitty is going to come across for il uh, 11th, and Brembo there for 12th. So Kiziado, Briefing Cow, and Liam are our podium finishers here. And let's see if we can get them on party, uh, the party shot just to have a quick word with them before we end off the session here. All right, so I'm not sure if these guys can hear me or not. Hopefully, Kiziado, Brief and Kawa, Liam are able to join on to uh, the party show that I have running so we can have a quick word with them uh, before we do end of the session here. Okay, so that's our race finishing positions. Kiziado takes a uh, pole position there. Briefing Cow in second and Liam there in third. I wonder if I can just do this from here. I'm just trying to have a look at something. No, that's not going to work from there. So Snowball takes fourth. Grammy in fifth. Frazier six. Requaza seven. Leo in eight. Bird in nine. Sullivan ten. Smitty in eleven. Brembo twelve. Jagerbaum thirteen. AMG Reckless fourteen. Dizzle there in fifteen. Lord in sixteen. Wilco in seventeen. And that's our results for the Australian Grand Prix for round four with SNRC there, guys. And I'm just going to have a quick look to see if I can get these guys uh, on chat with me to have a look at them. Let's see. Hey, Briefing Cow, can you hear me? Hey, I'm not sure if you can hear me. Let me know if you can hear my audio on the end there. I'm not sure. Hopefully this is going through. Hey, how, how was that race for you, man? So finishing there in second, how was the race uh, from start to end for you with the safety cars? How did that affect your race going through with the race strategy? Um, well, the first thing that helped me out, I ended up opting for the medium to soft run to run the mediums out. So it helped me. But uh, yeah, the second one and the third one, I think it was just, yeah. I think they even the playing field, which disrupted everybody's strategy really 
Well, uh, fortunate for you, you're still able to finish here in second. So still actually a great finishing position for you. So I got to say congratulations on that finish. Uh, it was a great fight through, throughout and throughout the race with everyone else as well. Uh, I know the safety cars did change things up just a bit. But uh, yeah, still happy to see you finish in second. And uh, hopefully you, the results continue with you on the podium uh, continuing through for the season. Yeah, I hope so, mate. Thank you very much. No problem, no problem. Um, unfortunately, I don't think we were able to get Kiziado and uh, Liam online, but um, yeah, with well, that being said, I think well, that's going to be it either way. We're going to end up and hopefully we get everything set up for a better uh, podium interview next week.